Mike has measured a metal rod and found that to the nearest centimetre it's 32 centimetres. In other words, he's rounded, he's rounded his measurement to the nearest centimetre. We're interested in, in what's the longest his metal rod could have been and what's the shortest it could have been. Well, I don't think there's much doubt about the shortest. Uh, if it is 31.5 or above, it would have rounded up to 32, and so I don't think there's any trouble working out that. However, what's the most it could have been? Well, the answer is 32.5, but that may be slightly confusing. So what we've got to think about is what is the largest number which rounds to 32? In other words, what the largest number which rounds down to 32 if you're rounding to the nearest whole number. Well, a good first guess might have been might be 32.4. However, think about it. We don't necessarily have just one place of decimals. We could have had 32.45. And that also rounds down uh, to 32, but it's a bigger number. What about that number? 32.49 is bigger, but it still rounds down to 32. So does that number. And so does that number, etc, etc. In fact, we could keep on adding nines uh, to that forever and we'd still have a number uh, which rounds down to 32. So how do we describe the biggest number which rounds down to 32? Well, we haven't got any choice except to call it that number. So that's our answer uh, looking at it in a slightly different way, let's look at a number scale and look at that line there, which represents the 32.5 line. We could describe that as the upper boundary of all the numbers which round to 32. Numbers less than that clearly round to 32, but that's the sort of boundary line. At the bottom end, we could describe 31.5 as the lower boundary of all the numbers that round to 32. And in fact, any numbers in between the two lines round to 32 with no problem. Now, mathematicians don't call them boundaries. They call them bounds. We have the upper bound there and the lower bound. And that's why this topic is called upper and lower bounds. Because it's about deciding what's the biggest and what's the smallest number that rounds to a particular number. Well, in that case, there's the answer. 31.5 and 32.5 are the lower and the upper bounds of 32 if you're rounding it to the nearest a whole number of centimetres. Another way of writing it would be with these uh, inequality signs. Uh, the length is in between 31.5 and 32.5, but the signs tell you that uh, 31.5 is included because of the or equals part but 32.5 is not included itself, but anything even slightly smaller is. Let's now look at some more examples. Here's one. Jim has measured his weight and finds that it's 77 kilograms to the nearest kilogram. Now that means his weight is going to be half a kilogram either way of that. So uh, the lower bound of his weight is going to be 76.5 kilograms. The upper bound, 77.5 kilograms. And another way of putting that would be that his weight is in between those two values. Uh, uh, but we say that it's 77 if we round it to the nearest kilogram. Now here, Wendy has gone for a walk, and uh, she's measured the time to the nearest 10 minutes that her walk took her. And, and that's 110 minutes. That's to the nearest 10 minutes. Uh, so uh, basically what we need is the, sort of the half of 10 minutes on both sides of that. So we're interested in five minutes on either side. And Wendy's walk could have been as quick as 105 minutes, or she might have taken longer and taken as much as 115 minutes. But that's the lower and the upper bound of the time that she took. Now this last example is slightly trickier uh, because we're talking about two different units here. Harriet has measured her height as 1.70 meters and that's rounded to the nearest centimeter. Now a centimeter is one hundredth of a meter so a centimeter is 0 0.01 meters and so 
we need half a centimetre on either side of that. The half of 0 0.01 is 0 0.005. So that's the distance we have to go on either side of our 1.70. The lower bound is 1.70 minus 0 0.005. 1.695 meters and adding that number to 1.70 gives us the upper bound of 1.705 so Harriet's height can be described as being between 1.695 uh, to 1.705 because she has rounded it uh, to the nearest centimeter and has written down 1.70 meters